the next few videos I'll be testing this generator and sharing thoughts on generating electricity. The very first generators were called dynamo electric machines. There's some good information in this book from 1893 called the dynamo. It's theory, design, and manufacture by Hawkins and Wallace. And I'll put a link to a PDF version. The toroid design would have been under a subclass called a discoidal ring or a drum armature. This is the coil that I'm working with. It's on page 144. A lot of good information in this book. That's also where this coil originated on a discoidal ring. The generator I built pretty much the same as the Cogless toroid motor. You have the toroid there and then the flywheel has two magnets on it with the steel keeper. And I changed this design a little bit and I used a step bearing plate so I could get the magnets closer. But I made it too thin and tightened the screws a little too tight and cracked it so now the magnets are hitting. So I gotta remake that. This coil has one pole in the middle and two like poles on the ends. And the one I'm using on the generator is a bifiler in the same configuration. So you can see between the two halves of the coil there's a blank space here. And that's where the AC wave changes. So you can see as I pass that section with the magnet, the galvanometer swings in a different direction. Now if I avoid that section and just turn the rotor and stop, the needle swings in one direction and goes right to zero. With the capacitor in the center of the coil, if I move the rotor and stop, you'll see the needle is deflected in both directions. So in one half of the AC cycle, you're charging the capacitor through the load, and on the other half, that energy is given back. Thanks for watching.